welcome agents to this ingress video where we're going to have a look at level 16 in one day that's right 40 million ap in less than 24 hours as a matter of fact we're going to go over that 40 million ap requirement and we're going to do around about 44 million in less than 24 hours so you can see here that I recurse on the dot at 100 million AP and since then I've done 663,572 and that's all farming stuff for this, for this challenge for getting to level 16 in a day. My current stats on connector then are 26,017 and so you'll see how much I go up in this video and then also mind controller we are at 18,787 and we'll see just how many fields I can create within this video also. It's also worth pointing out that this is a double AP event currently and without that there's no way that I'd be hitting 40 million in one day. So let's have a look in the inventory anyway and just have a look how many keys are required for hitting level 40 in one day. So currently you can see we're scrolling through my key lockers. I've got six of them and they are absolutely rammed full. There's around about 23 of each key in every single key locker. And not only that, you can see when we go into my inventory now that there is 66 of every single key for the spine clogging up my inventory at the moment, taking up all the space apart from a few very, very key items, which we'll see in a second. And so at just before 9 a.m. in the morning, I'm heading up to the top portal on our spine to set up the field engine. You can see the rest of my inventory now at 100 viruses, 85 hypercubes, and also 41 softbank ultralinks because I haven't quite finished setting up some of the anchors elsewhere, and they'll definitely be coming in useful later in the video. And here we go, these are the first few links of the day being made. At the moment, I'm not using an Apex because it's not worth it. There's only a few fields being thrown and it's gonna take me a little while to walk all the way into town where the portals are actually much, much denser, much closer together. And so I haven't started with an Apex, but you could do if you've got plenty to spare if you're actually a member of Core but I'm not in this case. So very typical for field engine setup, I am throwing a link between every single portal on the spine to the top anchor. And so this is that point in the day where you're thinking, is this actually gonna work? Is this actually gonna pay off? I've been saving viruses for around about two and a half years, trading them and hacking them, and it's taken forever. I've been waiting for a double AP event. It's taken me the last two weeks to farm about 4,000 keys not just on my own but with somebody else and is it all going to pay off or is some stray agent going to come and absolutely blitz not just that top anchor but the rest of town as well and yet all those plans are demolished in a heartbeat and it is worth pointing out that it was around about 4,000 keys that we hacked in preparation for this it took a long time and I only did about a third of those keys two thirds of those were from a friend it takes an enormous amount of effort and it is definitely definitely a team game so I'm obviously very grateful for that you can see now then that we're going to a much denser portal area and so all of them are being linked to that top anchor on the spine obviously i shouldn't have had all of these random keys for lots of different places out because it's taken me a long time to find that top anchor sometimes but we're getting there anyway and very shortly we'll be starting with our first run on the local field engine before moving out to lots of other different locations as well on those random keys you can see that i'm flicking through now they're not too random they are actually other anchors from different villages and different towns that i'm flicking through that i'll be using this field engine from later in the video and so just cutting off a couple of the last portals when it comes to the setup you can see the field engine is ready and we're ready to run the field engine for the first time obviously we're not going to miss putting an apex on here because not only did we wait for ages so that we had a double ap event but with an apex we're now on quadruple ap so now then we are linking first to the opposing anchor and we're going to link to the furthest portal on the spine and work our way inwards Using that spine, every single link then should make us two new fields and just look for yourselves how much AP every single link is getting us. And you can see the very healthy numbers on the screen there. Every single link is getting us 1,252 AP. Every single field is getting us 5,000 AP. And considering every time we throw, we are gaining two fields and one link, it's getting us 11,252 AP. 
That's why we waited for the double AP event. Using an Apex, it is too much of an incentive not to. And so talking through some of the numbers then, we've got 25 portals on our spine, or technically not quite 25 on the spine. Some of them are split fields, but they count for the same amount of AP, so we include them on the spine. There's also obviously the top anchor as well, which means that we've got 26 portals that we need keys for. So we aim for 150 keys for every single one of those portals, at least 150 keys. And if you do the maths on 26 uh, times 150, you're at 3,900, and that's a minimum. We ended up with way over 4,000 actually when we were farming keys for this, and we kept them all. They were all in inventory, all in capsules, all delivered to various different strategic locations throughout the day. There was a lot of fielding going on. So when it comes to those anchors then, you can see them being used right now. And obviously these ones are the local ones. So we've got quite a lot of local anchors for this field engine. And these are obviously in the same town that the field engine actually is. But you're not actually limited to that. And so what we did is we used three other villages that are a correct angle to use this field engine and one other town as well. So that we've got lots and lots of different anchors that we can actually use towards this field engine in gaining the 40 million in one day. And in doing that then, it just means that we're not hanging around as much. So we're not waiting for viruses to wear off so we can use the same anchors time and time again. Actually, we're just jumping to the next village or the next town so that we can keep going and keep going throughout the day just to increase that efficiency. In this video then, you're going to see a combination of Decay Engines, my favourite type of field engine, because it doesn't use nearly as much very rare kit, and also your standard virus-led field engine as well, because it is the right time of the year to use it with Niantic's double AP event as well. And here you see then the first level up of the entire video. This is me going from level 7 to level 8. Obviously it misses some of the animation there. But there you go, finally, you can see all the different equipment that you get when you level up. What I'll do from here then is I will update every time we jump from town to village to town again with AP totals and how we're doing. I'll also update you on the decay engine in the next location and also interesting things such as when the game glitches and you get ghost links that interrupt your fielding and you lose three anchors and lots and lots of AP, all those kind of good things. And we'll see how well we do by the end of the video. You can see here then, whilst I'm fielding and I'm working my way inwards on that spine, it's really quite smooth actually, and going from portal to portal is pretty easy because the distance is actually getting shorter and shorter, which means that the fielding is pretty simple. In some of the future locations where we're going to in some of the villages and the town later, actually it's going to jump around a lot more, and timing's going to be a bit of an issue because I've got decay engines where I've got to get all the fields up in two minutes, and it gets really kind of tricky later as well, which also increases is a little bit of risk in terms of losing some fields but it's not major when you're actually getting so many fields in such a short time anyway let's see how we get on now. i'm going to jump to the next location now and here we are as if by magic at the next village in this case and you can see that i'm already level 10 so i've jumped up a couple of levels that my ap is now on 104,512,334 which is just under 4 million uh, ap from the very first town and that my connector medal has gone up to 26,402 an improvement of 385 and that finally my mind controller medal is on 19,476 which has gone up 689 fields since the last time. This then is the next village and we're waiting now on the decay engine so you can see the portals now where most of the resonators are decayed and we're just waiting for them to actually fully decay or get close to that decay moment uh, before fielding. I know then that I deployed on this portal at 25 minutes past, so I've got 4 minutes at the moment, it's time to put another Apex on to make sure that I'm making the most out of the AP gain in this event, and that very very shortly I'll need to start actually fielding, it'll take around about 2 minutes to do the fielding, and then we'll see at 25 past the portal decay and I can move on to the next one which I'm also currently sat on top of as well. And so you can see that now it's bouncing all over the place because actually we're a lot further away. We're in the next village 
the portal that we want isn't necessarily the furthest away portal because they're actually all pretty much equidistant now and so actually finding the right order is proving pretty tricky. That two minute window then using a decay engine comes a little bit more difficult to actually use and you are racing at this point trying to get the right portals in the right order to make sure you're maximizing your AP. Nonetheless, I started early anyway, so let's have a look at the fielding and then we'll also have a look at the, uh, the anchor decaying and we'll have a look at a couple more before we move on to the next place as well. It's 11.23 in the video, and in this case, I know that actually I deployed at 11.25, which means that I'm a little bit premature. I've got a couple of minutes to wait, and then I'm obviously idling around my location thinking, what on earth am I doing? But one minute to go, I'll skip a little bit of video, and we'll have a look at the decay, and we'll have a look at the next anchor as well. And so clicking on that anchor there, and we're just waiting for the fields to disappear. There's a ghost link there, but we can still throw our fields on the next anchor. So you can see that obviously it's allowing us to throw those fields off we go with this run of the decay engine. We've got about two minutes per anchor then when we're running this decay engine. And sometimes there's a bit of travel time in between those anchors. But it's worth also mentioning that we don't have enough time. What we don't have enough time for is to redeploy and virus those anchors. Actually, we're gonna use the decay engine and later on we're gonna come back to the same village and the same towns and use them in a virus fashion as well. So decay engines first, because obviously the timings are really, really key. And then afterwards we're going to redeploy and use viruses and run those same field engines again. Of course, there is a way of actually running it three times at once. And so you could run your decay engine wait for your fields to decay and then you could redeploy using the same soft banks that were on originally and you could run that field engine again and use a virus after that you could kill the virus portal redeploy again with new soft banks with your second player and run that field engine a third time all in one go if you want a very very swift way of using a field engine three times that would be a fantastic if a little bit crazy idea considering that we've used way over 200 soft banks and we've farmed 4,000 keys for this operation between two agents. That wasn't gonna happen in this video. Maybe another time, maybe we'll have a go at that another time in another video, but not this time. Now with this time, we're looking for 27. You can see it's on the clock now and you get the really satisfying thing of clicking on the portal and seeing that portal decay, all those fields dropping without using a virus. And then obviously we're gonna to go to the next portal. As a matter of fact, we're on our way at the moment. There it is. You can see that blue gray flash, meaning that the portal's dead, no virus required. And here you can see we're at the next village along now. It's uh, another decay engine village and let's have a look through the stats. So to start off with, I'm now on 106,417,942. My connector stands at 26,581. And then my mind controller is now at 19,809. So there are some gains there. It wasn't a massive amount in the last one, but that was only seven anchors. And for those seven anchors, we have got 1,905,608 AP. We've gained 
179 links and we've also gained 333 fields so that's with seven anchors this current village that we're having a look at and we're starting to field now using the decay engine again actually has 23 anchors which is more than three times how much the previous village had so imagine just how much gain there is to be had here obviously i've also gone up to level 11 as well so i've made a little bit of a climb in the goal of getting to level 16 too so let's have a look at this village we'll only have a look at the first couple and then i'll move on to the next one update you on stats and we'll see just how much 23 anchors can gain us when compared to seven anchors in the previous village one final thing to consider then in this village is that actually the angle is completely different to the previous one. It's not jumping around nearly as much and that actually the keys are appearing in pretty much the right order apart from the split fields. However, there is a downside to that. We do lose a couple of portals on the spine, making it not quite as efficient. However, it's still pretty good and it's definitely worth using. All right then, after 23 anchors, let's have a look at the stats change. So I'm currently on 113 million. 16,966 AP with 27,218 for the connector medal and 20,965 for the mine controller medal as well. That's an improvement of 6,599,024 AP and I've gained 637 links. At the same time, I've also gained 1,156 fields. Of course then, those 637 points on the connector medal all represent a key each, and so we had to replenish keys and another agent put down lots of capsules of keys at a pre-organized place and I've picked them up. So currently I've got to get all those capsules and empty them so that my stock is back up and I can actually start using the next decay engine. The next decay engine is 15 anchors and we're going to use viruses at the same place afterwards, directly afterwards, because this is the furthest away from the original town. And so it's convenient to use the decay engine followed by the virus engine and move to the next one that's closer and closer. Here we go then for the next village, village number three of the five places, the five locations that we're actually throwing from today. And you can see that it is again Decay Engine. We're gonna do one loop using Decay Engine and then we're gonna go around using viruses to get a second run out of the same village before moving on to the next town. We'll have a look at a couple of the anchors here before skipping on, but before we do skip on, I'll show you at the same time the ghost link that cost me a huge amount of fields and really gets in the way of my plans. I've got a screenshot of the Intel map at the time and I couldn't get around it. It cost me around about three anchors of uh, the Decay engine and it was very costly, a bit annoying, obviously very frustrating. I was wondering how many fields I was going to lose and whether or not I was going to actually be able to hit level 16 in a day because if that carried on, I wouldn't be able to use all of the decay engines. But fortunately, after a short while, I got the uh, engine back up and running again and everything was okay. So first anchor done there and now it's a quick brisk walk to the next anchor over there in front you can see it approaching and in this village as well the reason why i had all those soft banks at the start is because currently there isn't enough mods on all of these portals and actually i need to put another soft bank on each of them so i can actually get the right amount of fields from each of them as well so i am moving a lot quicker now because i've got two minutes uh two minutes throw time and then I've also, in that two minutes, got to put on different mods. So I'm speedily walking to the next one to make sure that I can mod up and throw fields before all the timings run out. And the reason why they don't actually have those uh, third soft banks on is because we just didn't have them at the time. I had to borrow some from a third agent uh, so we can actually get enough mods to run this field engine as efficiently as we possibly could. And so, so far in this village, everything seems to be going okay. The decay engine is working really quite well. Despite the fact that I still have to put a mod on all the portals, it's still going okay. And I'm making sure that I get all my links done in time, but we're about to see when something goes wrong. So in this case, it's gonna be a ghost link and a ghost link that's actually getting in the way of some of my actual links. As a matter of fact, I can only do a few links per anchor and it cost me a huge amount of AP. So I've got a couple of screenshots, one from Intel, one not from Intel, and you can see a couple of things that are wrong with these pictures and how it's actually gonna cost me uh, a lot of AP, unfortunately. 
Rounding off with the last few portals on the spine then, you can still see a couple of blue portals over there. They're yet to be virus back to green for the next run when you get back to town. And there you go, there is the guilty ghost link on the left hand side that is costing us a huge amount of fields because it's blocking off most of the portals on that spine. And then you can see a screenshot of gameplay there as well from the actual town. And I can do a few fields, but I can't do a mass amount because obviously they get in the way. So a lot of points lost there, unfortunately. But fortunately, I overcompensated anyway, and there was always, always the potential for getting way more than 40 million AP using all of these field engines at once. Okay then, so the next look in at the stats, and you can see that I'm currently on 117,215,392 AP. My Connect Metal stands at 27,623, and Mind Controller at 21,704. So the gains are 4,198,426 AP, 405 links, and 739 fields in this particular village. You can see I'm uh, actually redeploying on these uh, portals then and using them as anchors. So now I'm actually using viruses. And you just have to bear in mind that when it comes to that set of stats, uh, obviously I lost a lot of fields with the glitch in the game, but I've also used two of the anchors already. And so I'm getting a little bit flustered, I suppose. And uh, I haven't actually stopped when I should to actually video and look at my stats. Actually, uh, I've gone ahead two portals, so it's a little bit out of sync, but that's fine. I've got 13 anchors left in this village then, so I'm going to race around those. And then we're heading to another town, and the town has got a huge amount of portals all set to decay at the right time. And then we're going to virus them as well, and that is where I'm going to get most of my AP for this task, this 40 million in a day. It's also worth pointing out that I'm also currently at level 14 at this point. So only two more levels to go, but obviously they're the big levels where the AP gains are absolutely enormous and they're a huge leap from one to the next. So anyway, you can see then we're actually using viruses this time and we're having to use a lot of aiders now to kill all those fields. It is a very, very costly way of running a uh, field engine, but at the same time, it's a very quick way of gaining a lot of AP really quickly too. Obviously, all the keys that are being dropped on the ground, I'm picking up every single one because at this point I'm thinking I might actually have another run when we're back into the town uh, where the field engine actually is uh, on that field engine to see whether or not I can actually make it up to way past 40 million uh, rather than just uh, hitting thereabouts 40 million. I want to actually go past it as much as I possibly can and get the most out of this double AP event. Plus, I suppose it also takes a huge amount of time to uh, hack all those keys, and so therefore uh, I'll want to keep them, definitely. All right then, so we're in the next town now, and this is where most of the anchors are. This is where I'll gain most of the AP towards that 40 million goal. And you can see, obviously, there are a huge amount of capsules on the floor. They're all full of keys that were hacked in the previous 10 days, and they were dropped off by a fellow agent. Uh, at this place where we pre-arranged because it's not very accessible, it's not easy to get to, you certainly can't drive up to it, and so obviously I'm going to pick them up and empty them and uh, carry on with my fielding. So then you can see in this town in the background there that all these portals, they're all po fully populated with resonators. Uh, only two of them are charged, so they're set to decay very, very shortly. So I'm going to run this as a decay engine first, and I'll be racing around. I've got about two minutes per portal, unless there's a bit of a gap between the portals to actually run this field engine uh, using the decay system. And then afterwards, I'm going to have a bit more of a, a leisurely time when it comes to repopulating those portals with resonators running the field engine, applying a virus, and then moving on to the next village. So let's have a look at the stats then. Before we start fielding from this town, and I'm currently on 120,543,808 AP, 27,931 on the connector medal, and 22,284 on the mine controller medal as well. So the gains are 3,328,416 AP, 308 links, 580 fields, and so you can see then I'm currently halfway to the goal, halfway to the goal, and uh, not doing too bad. But at this point, it's getting pretty dark and pretty cold in the day, so I actually don't end up filming uh, this town and going through it uh, twice, uh, so I haven't done that. 
Instead, actually, I meet up with somebody that started deploying on the field engine, and uh, unfortunately, I missed a couple of uh, fields because of that. It was just a really unfortunate timing, but they were really, really nice, and so I walked around with them and explained what I was doing for a while. But anyway, we'll have a look at the stats of the next town and uh, see how much I gain then. So having a look then, we're at 134 million. The overall gain for those 25 anchors used twice, obviously it didn't go perfectly, but 25 anchors used twice was 13,545,206. And in terms of the medals, 1,266 links, that's enormous, 2,362 fields. Uh, just because we used 25 anchors twice, or mostly we used them twice, apart from obviously the uh, decay engine that uh, got redeployed on, unfortunately. So you can see then I'm at the penultimate village. We were here earlier on in the day. I'm probably cold. I'm probably thinking, when is this going to be over? But because we're on 134 million at this point in time, the end is actually in sight. So I'm redeploying and I'm running through that field engine probably as quick as I can because uh, I'm pretty tired. We're getting to pretty much the end of the 11 hour stint that I did that day. And currently the portal that I'm actually on is down this very, very dark alley, no lights at all. And uh, it wasn't exactly the most pleasant experience. And uh, I'm just racing to get back to a very well lit, nice street, basically. So yes, if you were curious, it did take around about 11 hours to do this. That's about an average of 4 million an hour. Obviously, there were a few delays in places and there are places where it could be a little bit more efficient. And as I said, you could run this uh, actually three times in a row. So you could do the decay engine, then you could redeploy in virus, then you could smash it and then redeploy again with a second person to add in the extra soft banks and you gain a huge, huge amount. But obviously we didn't have the manpower resources and we just didn't plan for that on the day. But it could be done in the future, you never know. I reckon then it's time for us to actually skip until we hit level 16 in the Lex Village. Obviously we're going to carry on going until after level 16 because well, we started with quite a lot of AP. We started on level eight anyway, and we're going to make sure that actually we do hit 40 million at the very least in one day, if not go way beyond that. I actually almost missed it. It was a really close call, actually. And then I realized, oh, my God, it's on the screen, level 16. So here it is. And um, there's really quickly the loadout that you can see there. If you can pause the screen on that, you might see what items you get when you get level 16 again. But this is the second to last village. And uh, it's now working uh, our way through the last few portals and then back to the hometown where we're actually going to have one final run at the field engine from there uh, and meet a fellow agent at the end as well who was uh, there to say congratulations at the end of this huge endeavor so you can see the time then at the top there it has taken a huge amount of time if you remember then i started at just before nine o'clock and it is currently you can see in the top left hand corner almost seven o'clock so it's taken me just over 10 hours to get back to level 16 but then obviously I also started not at level one, not at zero AP. So actually we have to go a little bit further, don't we, to make sure that we've done at least 40 million in this video and 40 million for the day just to hit those targets. Here we are then looking at the final couple of anchors on this very, very long day. I'm running out of keys. I'm running out of energy. I'm trying to pick up as many keys as possible so I can keep the field engine going. But yeah, you know, we're coming to an end. So I'll leave these last two uh, couple of uh, anchors unnarrated and then we'll have a look at the stats at the end and uh, see how well we did for the day.
All right then, you can see that we're pretty much done. I've run out of keys for the final few portals. I'm just about to virus the final anchor here. And for the eagle-eyed among you out there, you'll see that some of those uh, links were made anyway. That's because uh, I was greeted by a fellow agent and uh, I said, do you have keys? Just throw them. I, I just can't be bothered to pick any more up now. I've done enough. Obviously, at this point then, it's obviously mandatory to put all the fireworks you can to get the most out of that apex and uh, to celebrate a little bit after gaining so much AP in such a ridiculous space of time. So you can either watch me uh, inflate my own ego here by applying as many of these fireworks and uh, probably even some beacons uh, as I can whilst I've still got an apex going, or you can skip towards the end and uh, have a look at the final tally, all the stats, all the fields, the links and the AP gain. All right then, I think that's quite enough of that. Suffice to say, I tried to get rid of as many of those as possible during quadruple AP, because why not? Okay, you can see anyway, my final stats. The AP stands at 144,844,638. Then we've got, in terms of the connector medal, 30,204. And the Mind Controller medal now stands at 26,511. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to pop over to Agent Stats, my Agent Stats page. I uploaded at the start of the day before all of this happened. And then I also uploaded at the end of the day. So we get the most accurate stats of just how much I've done in one full day or 11 hours worth of fielding. So here we go, we're on my agent stats page, and I love this part. You can see that it says I've gained minus 11,129,161 AP uh, throughout the course of this day, which obviously isn't correct. Uh, but to actually clarify that a little bit then, I started the day on 663,572, and so the total gain is actually 44,180,442, so way over the 40 million target, and obviously I made it all the way back to level 16 in less than a day, in less than 12 hours actually. The key stats then that you can see in front of you are, well, they are 4,187 on connector, a considerable dent in that really ridiculously difficult medal. Then 7,724 for Mind Controller, which is not bad at all. And the other one, actually, that I'll point out as well is the 29 kilometers walked. That was a lot of walking in the day, and that is a genuine statistic. So it was absolutely a marathon effort to actually uh, get around to all those portals and walk that distance throughout the entire day. So, yeah, absolutely. Those are the key stats. You can see a few others. Uh, and yeah, I did actually capture quite a lot of MU at the same time, but completely, that's, uh, that's it, that's the lot. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far to the end of the video and you've actually watched everything, then really well done, uh, really appreciate it. And again, if you like content, then please like, subscribe, and all those usual things, definitely feel free to comment as well. I'll try and get back to you. Thanks a lot.